All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to take a mug that looks like this and make it look like this. Stay tuned. Okay, I've already got this uh, set up for uh, the 11 ounce mugs and if I click on this right here you can see that these are three and a half inches by ten and a half inches and actually I know that I, the when I wrap it around a cup it only goes around there about nine and a half so I'm going I've already set, done a save as and renamed one for the um, mugs that are 15 ounces and you can see that I've changed these to be four inches wide now because the cup's a little bit taller and I've changed it to nine and a half because I know that's about as far as my little mug press will uh, will reach so, so I've got this all ready to print now I just need to make sure I mirror it and before I hit the print button here let me go get my printer set up this is my Epson ET2760 which is a uh, just uh, one with a tank but it comes with uh, regular inkjet ink so when I opened it up I just took that ink and set it aside and then I purchased some uh, dye sublimation ink and put that in here and of course now it will do dye sublimation so it's my dye sublimation printer so this is some a sub uh, eight and a half by eleven sublimation paper it's the 105g so let me just stick this back here and get it ready to go there we go and now I'll go over here and hit print Alright, there we go. So I've got enough to do two cups right on each page. So I'll go take these over to the paper cutter and trim them up and, and then we'll get them taped on the mug. Okay, since I got that. Uh, these all trimmed up I'm ready to add them to the coffee cup I'll be doing that with this heat tape right here you just want to make sure you pay attention and make sure you get it going the right direction and not upside down so I'm just going to take a little piece of this heat tape and kind of stick on the edge of here and I kind of get it where it's about even on both sides Maybe a little more in that way. Okay. Now, take another little piece and put on here. Okay, just like that. And now this one's ready to go into the mug press. Okay, as, I, as you can see, I have the 5-in-1 combo uh, heat press, so you can see I've just connected the uh, main platen here, and I just connected up the uh, little standalone mug press here, and I've got this set, I think, to, let's see where I'm at, 370, and I've got 180 seconds or, or 3 minutes, so... Now I've got this ready to go, so let me stick this in here, and we'll uh, get this thing heated up. Okay, so I'm just going to set this thing down here and take this uh, pick. If you hold it by the handle, it's not too hot, but everywhere else it is definitely hot. Let me just get this uh, tape off of there. And there you go. A official coffee sessions mug. 
right off the mug press. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this video. I think this uh, cup turned out pretty good. Uh, pretty happy with it. And just in case anybody's wondering, uh, I have just now the 15 ounce and the 11 ounce on sale on my website. There will be a link down below in the description if anybody wants their official coffee sessions coffee cup. And in case you might be wondering what the heck is the coffee sessions, the coffee sessions is a 30 minute live stream that I go live every weekday morning at 9 a.m. on Facebook and YouTube. And it's just me and whoever shows up in the, in the chat drinking coffee and talking about whatever current events or the weather or whatever it might be so if you haven't checked that out already I'll leave a link down below to that YouTube channel it's not on the same channel it's on a channel called the Dave Gatton coffee sessions so I'll leave a link down below if you want to check that out or you can look for me on Facebook if you follow me there and you can't miss it so love to have you uh, love to have you join us Okay, I want to thank you very much for watching, and if you want to check out any of the items that I've talked about here, like the Epson printer or this 5-in-1 heat press or whatever, check down below in the description. I'll have uh, Amazon links to pretty much all the stuff that I've used here in this video, and of course they are Amazon affiliate links, and if you purchase something by using that link, I do get a small commission but it's no extra cost to you. It's the same price whether you use that link or not. So, uh, but I appreciate it if you do. Uh, so anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell there so you get notified when I have a new video come out. And that's going to do it. We'll see you later.